Hey guys, it's supposed to be a gorgeous day today, so let's go thrifting. This thing is sitting right by the front door, so I imagine everyone who walks through probably presses the button because when I press the button, everybody else was looking at me like, oh no, please not again. This thing was so loud, I had to turn down the volume on this video. This is a grab bag of infant toys for $5. I really don't like these grab bags because it's really hard to see if everything's in good condition or not. If you have kids that like Nerf guns, then buying them at a thrift store is the cheapest place to buy them. I actually bought my boys some Nerf guns from the bins when they were young enough that they played with those types of toys. And we were lucky enough that they were always in good working condition. To repeat myself in every video so that any newcomers to my videos will understand that I keep my cameras angled down so that I'm not filming other customers or the store employees while I'm filming. For me, it's a matter of having personal and professional boundaries and knowing that these other people have not consented to be in my videos. I go out of my way to try to ensure that I'm respecting those boundaries and not capturing other people in my videos to the point that I will quit filming and go down a completely different aisle to try to avoid any type of issues. And I have had several customers on occasion try to be in my videos and that can be a challenging situation to deal with. I usually just stop filming. Here's some really cute kids' shoes that look like they're in pretty decent condition. I know these are cleats. I don't know if they're soccer cleats or football cleats, but a lot of kids play sports in this area. Soccer is very popular, and so is football, and I know the cleats are just a little bit different for each one of those sports. There seems to be quite a bit to choose from in the kids section today. A lot of times you come in here and a lot of the stuff has already been sold. Here's a pair of girls dress shoes. They'd be perfect for Easter. They look like they were worn very little. They look like new. These boots look like brand new too. I'm assuming that's because we haven't had much of a winter here. Here's a solid wood bread box for $8 that's still in working condition, so that's nice. Just a small amount of Easter decor. Here's a plushie that still has the original packaging with it. They're asking $5 for it. Oh, those are salt and pepper shakers. That's cute. on this one. There's no price on that one either. Mm. Oh, it's like a jewelry or makeup box. Interesting. That's not too, too bad. It's pretty. It's like a plastic or a resin, maybe. I'm not sure what that says. Reversible better homes. What size is it? It doesn't say. It has the shams to go with it. It's like a green, teal, and gray. There's a stamping kit with animals on it for $10. Oh, 
here's a dog harness that's brand new. The problem with this, they went three dollars. Where, where are these sold? I know I've seen these recently, like super cheap somewhere. Another dog harness. Some no slip socks. Here's a walking cane, but the, oh, oh, there it is. They want $3 for it. That's probably a really good deal. Oh, that's a dish strainer thing for your steel. Oh, it's such a Christmas decor. Well, that's different. It's a vote of candle holder for $3. Hmm. Anybody that likes metal artwork, metal pumpkin. There's always a lot of metal stuff. Cute little basket with tulips for a dollar. That'd be cute for your Easter decor. Oh, here's a little wall hanging thing. Here is an old mini loaf pan. I have one of these, but mine's double this. Three dollars. I got mine at the end, I think, for less. Metal coasters for four dollars. Those are really heavy. Two dollars. Okay, I gotta get out of this house. Someone else is trying to come over here and shop. Kinds of cute water bottles. They usually have these overpriced, though. I usually buy these over at the bins. Here's another one. Three dollars for this. Now, see, their prices are better because that's three dollars. I like they want two dollars for this Sterilite pitcher. And the last Goodwill store I went to, they had everything priced at like three dollars no matter what it was two dollars carolina panther here's one with penguins oh, i've not seen a price on this one at all Brand new cake pans, and there's two trays for two dollars. Now, see, that's a good deal. Petite Christmas tree pan, and there's two pans. So that's a good deal. These, take them home, use some sandpaper on them, wash them, apply some butcher block oil, and it'll be like new. Oh, cookie cutters! I love cookie cutters. $5 for the whole box of cookie cutters. There's a little angel right there on the top that I see. I can't tell what the others are, but that's an angel. I can definitely tell. Your most basic shapes of cookie cutters that you would need for starting out for making um, decorated cookies. There's usually an abundance of stemware and glassware. Mason jars. I need a sugar jar with a lid, and I'm not seeing one. I need a little sugar container for my husband. This one's missing its lid, but it would have been cute. I'm not seeing any other sugar containers. Hmm. Four dollars. Whoops. Hand wash only. Do not microwave. Distributed by Kirkland's. It was originally fourteen ninety nine. It's really cute. It's got a teeny tiny little chip right there, but that's it. It's like you can't even feel it. It's like the paint chipped off. Super huge candle sitting in the floor for four dollars.
They do hang up their placemats and stuff here, so you can go through their placemats easily and see how many there are to a set, which is really nice. Christmas tablecloth. Thanksgiving tablecloths. Here's some. Oh, that's an apron. That's cute. There's some luggage down here, a briefcase, some real different storage solutions. These are curtains, I think. I don't know, those might be tablecloths. Those are tablecloths. There's always crocheted blankets for sale. Here's some shears, lace curtains, I mean. That is machine quilted. Some brand new blanket sets and sheets and slip covers up there. Goods originally for $3.99. They're asking $2 here. It's like this little covered dish. This is different. I want $3 for it. Cherish moments. Not priced. These are like, I don't know if that's like a leather or faux leather. It's nice feeling. $15. The bases are metal and there's four of them. What's that supposed to be? Is that like a little magazine rack or something? $6. I need some love on the outside. But it's it is a Lane brand cedar chest, and it actually kind of still smells like cedar. It's very heavy. There is some splitting on the top, though. This would need to be repaired. But that's a beautiful chest. That work. Oh, carousel horse. It's solid wood for eight dollars. This is a big canvas of a wave. We want eight dollars for that. They only want twenty-five dollars for it. That's a good deal for some artwork. can't read that, but that's really cute. It's just a little picture. I want to see how much they want for this. Six dollars. Wow. Two dollars a piece for these. And I think this one's all messed up. special markings on that. It's not priced. Canisters, $3 and $4. That's cute. I'm not sure what that is. Some wall decor. Oh my gosh, it's really heavy. This is different. $5 for that. It feels like it's probably resin. 
Let me get this little vase. Five dollars. They got some cute vases. Ooh, I found the sugar jar. Three dollars. Okay, that's going home with me. Little tiny vases. I'm not sure what these are made of. Hand wash only earthware. Okay, those are cute little bud vases. I thought these were salt and pepper shakers, but they're not. They're just little porcelain pumpkins. No. I have no idea what this is. Someone can tell me in the comments below. They want $2 for it. $3 for this little vase. Olive green. This is different. Three dollars. Oh, someone made this. Well, no joy plate. I'm not sure, but I think that's a carpet bomb. Decorative spear. Three dollars. It's very lightweight. It's probably made out of resin. This little elephant sure is cute. They want $2 for it. Oh, look, it's a votive. And then they have these little glass birds with pears for $4 each. There's a cute little sewing basket. They want $8 for it. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Let's check out these handles. Yep. There's a whole tub of like baby dolls and doll stuff for $8. Okay guys, so let me show you what I bought at the Goodwill store today. It wasn't much, just this little sugar jar for $3. It is China. I do like that Goodwill is now putting some saran wrap around their glassware because a lot of times you go in there and things are broken because customers are mishandling things. So this keeps everything nicer and you can find all of the parts now most of the time. So... As you can see, it's perfectly intact. My husband needed a sugar jar. He used the sugar in his coffee. I had bought him one of the kind that pour out. And uh, it was just pouring sugar everywhere, so that wasn't working out. So this will work just fine and only paid $3 for it. It did not have the matching creamer pitcher, and that's why I bought this one, because I don't like separating sets. I mean, I could, because they sell them individually, but I just think that's kind of wrong to do, because you have other people in there looking for a matching set, and then they can't find the matching set. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope to see you again for the next video. Love you. Bye.